Hey everyone, it's Sherry and I am doing a process video for Project Life Double Spread this week. I'm doing a voiceover because um, I just didn't want to play other music on top of um, this video. This video is going to be a tribute to Prince who died last week, unfortunately. Um, and so I wanted to do a tribute page for him. Um, and you know, even if you're not a fan of his music or him or whatever, and this, you know, you might think that you don't want to watch this video because it's all about Prince. Um, maybe you don't want to listen to what I have to say, but I think that, you know, we all have things in our lives that, you know, are sad. Um, you know, obviously I didn't know him. He's not a family member or anything like that, but it still made me sad to lose, you know, such a a musical genius in my opinion um, but we all have things that we have to document that aren't always you know happy-go-lucky times or things that make us laugh or smile or whatever so um, you know this is a video that you could watch regardless of if you like Prince or not in my opinion because you know it's just a tribute to him and you could make a tribute page to anyone or anything that you know you feel lost for just for me I am really sad about this I I'm more sad than I thought that I would have been or that I thought I would be when I first heard um, I was really sad when I first heard about it um, but I've just been con like consumed with reading about it and listening to his music and you know thinking about doing this um, project layout Project Life Layout, just to memorialize him um, for, you know, how much I enjoyed his music in my life. And I was talking to one of my friends and, you know, I was telling her, like, I don't really understand why I'm so sad about it because I, I didn't know him personally. And um, I'm just like, I'm, I don't know, I'm just really surprised with how kind of sad this is making me up I was telling her about that you know because she's one of my friends that also liked his music and um and I think she really you know summed it up well by saying basically like this is a person who's been making music since I was a child and like I when I was a little kid that's how I first found out about him I was like I don't know six or seven my aunt listened to him she was you know she's 11 years older than me so she was a teenager and she was all about Purple Rain and his poster on her wall and listening to his music and so that's where I first learned about him and then I was a teenager in the 90s when he came out with um, Diamonds and Pearls and Seven and Cream and all those songs and and then I started dating my husband in um, the late 2000s and we listened to his new CD Lotus Flower on like our first or second date and it had just come out when we started dating and his version of Crimson and Clover is our song and if you watched my wedding album Project Life video you would know that because I also put a, um, a little card in there about it and it's funny that you know, the one song that is like the most dear to my heart, Crimson and Clover, is the one song that he, you know, didn't even write. He covered it, but um, his version is my favorite. Um, I think um, my dad said Tommy James and the Shondells did it first, and then Joan Jett did it in the 80s, and then he did it in 2009, but his version is like my all-time favorite and I tried to put some names of some of the other songs that um, I loved of his but then I started to think that I didn't want to add too many letters on the spread and put too much in there but I did get to add Kiss um, the two top pictures well I don't have them that way right now but um, I took two two pictures from the internet from the Kiss um, video and the outfit that he wore in the Kiss video they're gonna be in the spread um, I found a piece of ephemera that said let's go and I was like wow that's crazy and then I found a sticker that said crazy so that's another name of one of his songs let's go crazy um, I wanted to put do me in there um, 
I wanted to put Diamonds and Pearls. That was a really long one. I mean, there's just so many. Raspberry Beret, 19, 1999. Um, gosh, there's just obviously Purple Rain. Um, I did get to put, I mean, I have one of the pictures there says Purple Rain. Um, so that's kind of in there too. Um, let me talk about the paper too. So when I was wanting to do this, I did not want to have this overly themey with a bunch of like purple paper everywhere because, you know, he loved purple, purple rain, that kind of thing. I still wanted it to focus on him and the pictures that I took and what I was documenting more than just a bunch of purple paper just to add purple paper. So, um, I used, I actually found a piece of paper from the Felicity Jane kit I bought last year and it had raindrops on it and I thought it was perfect. So you can see that some of the backdrop has um, those pictures and then I also cut out one of, um, a piece of black polka dot embossed paper which I have been saving for something really special. I didn't know what I wanted to, to use it for but I just love the paper so I was like, you know what, this is the perfect um, spread for that. So. Um, and then the other piece I finally decided to cut up for this layout because I, like I said, it was one of my favorites, but I wanted to use it for this. I thought it was perfect was the, um, clear acetate page with the gold foil polka dots. Um, so I have those in a, a few places as well. The pictures are, um, pictures that I downloaded from the internet. That one I'm working on right now is probably my favorite picture I've ever seen of him. Um, he just looks so good in that picture. And some of the other pictures, um, like the little tiny 2x2 two two pictures, are pictures I downloaded from the internet of places all around the world that were celebrating his life and just doing a tribute to him by lighting up um, their you know, city or bridge or building or it's like the Eiffel Tower is lit purple for, um, for him. And I put the Venetian on there, which I love that they did that purple. That's where Marcus and I got married. So I, of course I had to include that. Um, on the bottom middle picture is a picture of a couple of this, his CDs that I own. And, um, on the right is the purple nails that I painted um, in honor of him for a small tribute, you know, um, and I posted it on my Instagram. And on the left far side on the bottom is another picture I took for Instagram um, when I wore purple um, the Saturday after he died. And then on the right hand spread over there, um, it's a little bit more like of a um, well, there's a couple of old pictures, but there's a couple of new pictures too. Like the one on the top is a recent picture. He's been rocking the afro um, the last few years. So I included that and a quote that he put in there. Um, Despite everything, no one can dictate who you are to other people. And that's just a quote that he has said. So I like that. And um, I definitely think it speaks to who he is and how he thought. So I wanted to include that. Um, it's a purple rain picture of him. That's how I remember him as a child. Um, and the kiss, definitely those two pictures. Like when I think of Prince, when I was young, those are the pictures that I have in my mind. And then that one on the far right where he's kind of got his hand up to his ear. I just love that picture because he just looks so happy. He's like playing his guitar. He's probably in front of a crowd, like wanting them to sing along with him. And he just has the biggest smile on his face. And a lot of the pictures that you see of Prince, you know, he's so serious and um, he was a pretty serious person, but he also was pretty lighthearted and he, you know, could be funny too. I've watched a lot of interviews with him and um, he has a good sense of humor too. So I really love that picture. I wanted to put that in there. The bottom um, pocket right there that has the day that he died, I thought about, like, why would you want to put the day that he died, you know, in the page? But that's the day that kind of changed everything for me that I thought, oh, my gosh, I'm never going to be able to see this person sing or hear this person sing live or be in the same room with him. I mean, he's just gone. And um, he has a whole bunch of more music that – he hasn't released, so it's not like I'm never going to hear anything new from him again, but um, 
I don't know, it's just that I wanted to document the date and I liked how I broke those two um, pieces of the heart. Um, I just thought it was kind of significant, like um, I really loved his music, I really did, and the separation of it, you know, is kind of just kind of showing that I'm less like broken hearted over this. And then the other pocket, uh, which I kind of zoomed in so you can't see it now, is the text message that I got. I actually found out via text message. Marcus sent me a text with the Yahoo link. And at first when I looked down at it, I thought it was like a prince, like, you know, like a prince in, in a different country that still has that type of situation. But then I saw a pop star and I thought, oh my gosh. And I opened it and I was like, in my text, I put no. And I put a bunch of emojis with tears from their eyes because I just, I was just sad, just so sad. I'm still sad. It's over a week later. And um, I'm just sad that he's gone and I never got to hear him play. And um, I just really liked his music. And I don't know. I, I don't know. I just have like a admiration for him, I guess. I don't know. Um, but this is the spread that I did, and if you stay tuned to the end, um, I put some bloopers in there, so to speak, um, of me singing the songs that I was listening to while I was doing this spread. Um, there's some of my favorite songs, and hopefully YouTube doesn't flag this video and make me take it down. I tried to make them as short as possible, but, um, you know, it's not my music. It, I downloaded it from iTunes or whatever, so I don't know how that will go, but I hope you enjoyed this video, and like I said, even if you don't, even if you didn't like Prince, um, or you weren't, a, you weren't a fan of his music, I mean, I just think that, you know, we should include things in our memory books and our project lives that, you know, affect us in our life, and because years from now, decades from now, or, you know, people from now, meaning like kids, grandkids, you know, that type of thing. If our books are still around for people to look at, you know, these are things that affected our lives at that moment during that time. And, um, I don't know, it just, I, I know that I want to remember how I was feeling and what, what I was doing and what I did and everything when this happened. So that's just me. And it might be someone different for you. Um, you know, like David Bowie died in January and I didn't do all of this. I was sad because I liked the Labyrinth movie and, you know, I, I was sad to hear that he had passed. But, you know, that that didn't affect me the same way that Prince's passing is affecting me. And, you know, like I said, we're all different. And but I'm just saying, like, this is this. I wanted to document this and I think it's good to document things like this. Um Maybe people would think it would be a little excessive to have like a two page spread about it. Maybe, you know, I've like I've seen other people's pages where they, you know, insert like a little pocket or something talking about, you know, like a pop star or something or someone that they, you know, admired or whatever celebrity passing. Um, but this is my book and this is how I wanted to um, document his passing for me. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, let me know what your favorite Prince song was or is, and let me know, you know, did you like Prince? Um, how long have you been listening to Prince? I don't know. Just, I'd love to hear your stories, um, about this and, or maybe what, what picture you liked in here. I don't know. Just anything. <laughs> I want to hear some Prince stories, I guess. Have you seen him in concert? I've been watching some YouTube videos of um, him in concert, and I'm really bummed that I didn't go. I wanted to go see him in the 2000s, but he had made some sort of statement that he wasn't going to sing his old music. You know, he was just, you know, he's a definite artist, and he wanted to sing the songs that he had made at that moment. Um, and I was disappointed, and I just didn't go, and now I wish I would have, and I don't like that type of regret, so... I'm not going to do that anymore. But anyways, thanks for watching and um, enjoy the singing. <laughs>